Our first guest today has been entertaining Niagara for many years since moving here from jolly old England a few years ago. Lately, he's been working hard to put Niagara on the comedy map across the country, and the upcoming Garden City Comedy Festival should be a great step towards that goal. David Green, let's start off with, give us your best joke about my, Niagara. <laughs> about my, Niagara. My be, about Niagara? Yeah, do you have oh, one? About Niagara, well, uh, let's see, you put me on the spot. <laughs> okay, I got a joke about Niagara, but it's not. No, I'll go talk about Niagara. I love to pull Niagara on the lake a lot, just because I know it's a great place to live if you're a hyphen. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. There we go. That's yeah. perfect. Well, some fun now. <laughs> <laughs> Garden City Comic uh, Comedy Festival. So seven years ago this started, but mm -hmm. you've had some hard times over the pandemic, obviously. Yeah, well, yeah, no more hard than everybody else, but we've uh, had some setbacks, but we've evolved and adapted, and we did some online shows. We did some shows in for cars, so <laughs> performed to cars for drive-in shows, but very, very excited to get back in beautiful theaters and packed houses around St. Catharines. I'm fascinated right now with the fact that a lot of venues seem to be open to hosting comedy shows. Is, is that what you've found as you're trying to book some of these? Uh, it is now because they've seen like, comedy in Niagara has flourished and bloomed over the last decade. And, uh, and people see that they see other venues having these events with full houses and people having a great time. So they're like, oh, let's try it as well. So Right now, is you know, is the rooms going on in Niagara and Welland, St. Catharines, like Font Hill, all the way around. It's just, it's great to see. It's great to see. Do you feel that it's partly your responsibility to, I guess, hang the shingle up there for Niagara Comics to get them out there? Uh, so I would not say it's my responsibility. I take pride in giving, putting on the shows, and I like to give the best comedy experience. I want to, like, more shows are coming up, so I want to make sure that our shows have some, something a little extra different. Like, for example, we have, we bring photo booths out to our events, so people have a little photo booth glamour before the show. Uh, we try and bring the best lighting, the best sound, best DJs before. So, so you come out to an event, you have some last two, but it's like the whole comedy experience. You go home, you're like, that was a fun night out. June 1st to 4th, so you have four straight nights of comedy. Yeah. And you've got some great names on oh, yeah. this bill. Yeah, yeah, we've got Ma Mike Wilmot, who's one of the most respected comics in the country, two-time Canadian Comedy Award winner. Headline shows all around the world, Australia, Singapore, England. Um, he's at the gala. We have Joe Pilateri, local Niagara legend. He's going to be on the gala as well. Uh, Jeff Leeson, who is our festival favorite. Uh, if you haven't seen him, you, you're in for a treat. If you have seen him, you know you want to come back because he's a crowd work guy. So every show is every single different, and it's just, he's, he's like fireworks. He's, he's known as the king of crowd the king work. king of crowd work. That can be kind it. of daunting when you, uh, you don't want to sit up front, do you? When uh, no, Jeff no, is on? you do. You do. You he, do? He's not mean about it. Like some <laughs> kind of mean, he just, he brings the audience together and he just, he just calls out the absurd things that people say. But what's amazing is he'll talk to all the crowd. He's, the memory is amazing. Because when he gets to the end, he just recaps everything that's happened during the night. And he's like, this has happened over here. This happened over here. And it's just, it's, oh, it's a sight to behold. And that's really on-the-spot comedy. Yeah, that's a, I, I don't that's know a how talent that's it. very difficult to hone, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I've seen it. I've seen him do it time and time and time again. And I see something, oh, he does that that way like this. But it blows my mind how he's able to do it. Just the skill and brain power he has to control the crowd like that. As a comedian yourself, you must get a lot out of hosting events like these four nights. I'm assuming you're going to be at all four of them. I know you're yep. hosting one of them in particular, but you must learn a lot from all the different styles. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, yeah. You, that's how you get better. You learn from the best. People, when people are getting into comedy, they always ask me like, "Do I take a stand-up course? Do I go to this?" And I'm like, "Just go to a show. Go to the show. Watch professionals. See what they do. Learn how they act. See how they react when things happen and how they adapt. Like, that's how you're going to learn. Learn from the best." You have a Niagara Next Gen Comedy Showcase as one of the shows. Yeah. Um, who will be appearing at that? So we have Levi Mann, who will be hosting the show, who hosts shows every Tuesday down at Taps. And then we have Sab Powers, Ali Moore, Mitch McBaudry, and Taylor Grant. So each year for the festival, we do a Niagara Comedy All-Star Show. So this one's the next generation. These are the, all, the comics who, just in the last few years, have just started performing. But... They've been hustling so hard and getting better and better. Now they're performing all around Ontario. And it's inspiring, but also motivating. Like, as well, I see all these comics, I'm like, oh, they're doing, they're, work, they're here. I'm not working tonight, and they're off doing a gig. i got to work harder, too. Like, they're pushing each other. And so we want to give them, so we're actually recording that night to get them more professional recordings that they can send out to agencies. So it's going to be a great night. June 3rd, an all-female show, and that one actually is a fundraiser. Yes, for Women's Place South Niagara. Uh, it's our third year partnering uh, with them just down the road, it's amazing work they do for everybody in the community. 
Um, but this, this is a cool venue as well. We're on a rooftop patio. Yeah, that's the uh, NAC patio. Yeah, the NAC right? patio up, up under the stars. So uh, we've got Kathy Boyd on She's the show. Hilarious. She's hilarious. I just, just checked got, out just a few of her. standing friends. ovation from Howie Mandel just last week <laughs> on Canada's Got Talent. So is she so excited. dry and deadpan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when she steps up onto the stage, you don't expect that person to step up on the stage. <laughs> no, but yeah. Yeah, but yeah, she makes you laugh, that's for sure. Then we've got KD, another great local talent who just started just last year, and she's been killing it all over. So it's awesome to see local talent, Toronto talents, all come in to do a great calls for a great organization. Four different venues? Yeah, uh, five, four de venues, five stages. So on the same night as the, the rooftop patio, that's at 9 o'clock, on 7 o'clock, we have the Popper T Showmobile, which is like a stage trailer that opens yes. up onto the street. And we have a guy called Badunka Funk coming down from yeah, Hamilton. Yeah, who is he? I... So his name's Craig Watkins. He's a good, he's, I've known him for years. He was, we used to do stand up together. And then he started into movie, making movies. And then now he went into, he's got all these loop pedals and he plays guitar and another guitar and a keyboard. He does everything himself and then just loops it all together. And I don't know, I don't know how he does it. And then does these hilarious, hilarious songs that he does. And it's, it's like nothing you've ever seen before. And it's just, we're going to have a bubble machine going, fog machine, people dressed up in dog heads dancing around, giveaways. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a fun Badunka Funk treat party. That's taking place on the street, on the street right outside right the Right on Nack? St. Paul in front of the Nack, yeah. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. How can people get tickets for this? So for that show, that show is absolutely free. So just show up at the Nack, 7 o'clock Friday the 3rd. Um, all the other shows, you can get tickets at GardenCityComedyFestival.com. And you'll have the link there for the gala night. Um, for the, we'll take you to the link to the PAC website to get the tickets and then all the other shows um, are $20 per each night on the Garden City Comedy Festival website. What makes the gala night a gala night? So all of the shows that we do, they are usually have a host, then we have like a feature local opening act, then we have a feature performer and then a big headline to close out the night. But with the gala, we take that big headliner and it's just the whole show is headliners. So we have Joe Pilateri, who's the most high profile comedian Niagara hosting show. Uh, we have three of the top touring headliners across the country. Like Fiona O'Brien, just flying back from Halifax right now, from the Halifax Comedy Festival for taping. She's performing Sabrina Douglas, who's in Winnipeg right now, performing at the Winnipeg Comedy Festival. Ernie Vicente. And then the Knight Wilmot, who's, again, just because we just happen to have him in the country right now because of the world. Um, things that are going on. So we're happy to have Mike Walmart coming down and close out the show in style. And uh, it's going to be a great night. Beautiful stage, beautiful lighting, beautiful venue. It's going to, cannot wait. This is the biggest ever for the comedy festival. Um, it's the, the most, yeah, it's five shows. We did four shows last year. Um, so we're trying to expand every single year. We try to add something new, something different. Um, our goal when we first started it was to have the 10 year plan to eventually. Um, move into the Partridge Hall and then move into the Meridian Center is the, is the big term goal and expand it to like a week long festival so it will rival some of the biggest festivals in Canada. I'm sure you'll get there. David Green, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks so much for having me, Fred.